What is this X shape on the wall, often seen around old farms, barns, and stables? In this case, X marks the spot of an anchor plate for a tie. A tie is a large metal rod sometimes added to older structures to keep the walls from bowing. Thankfully, it looks like this building doesn't need one. I've had this for like 15 years. I used to use it while playing soldier as a kid. No idea what it is. It looks as though it may be something that drops from an aircraft. Dropped from an aircraft is correct. This is an ADSID, or Air Delivered Seismic Intrusion Detector, first used in Operation Igloo White during the Vietnam War. Totally safe to own as they don't contain explosives and a very cool piece of military history. What is this thing my mom found? It's about 15 inches long and has wood, embroidery floss, wire and maybe grass and seems vintage. My first thought was a fan, and look at me being all smart. The long handle goes down to the inside of your elbow, making it easier to fan yourself with. What is this metal thing? Found in a floor in central Texas. This one wasn't definitively solved. But the most agreed-upon answer was a piece of a tool used to tension chains and connect them together, also known as a load choker. Washed up on the Indian coast, made of plastic. Legs for scale. Anybody have an idea? Less of an object within itself and more of a piece, this was identified as once being part of a pump mechanism. Those discs help move water through pipes, often used in irrigation. Swiss Autobahn retaining wall has square protrusions and panels that look like they can be opened. Often called soil nails, these are to help reinforce the wall to the earth behind it and keep any major shifts from happening. This thing was in the beach near a lighthouse in Asturias, Spain. What do you think it is? Essentially a lighthouse backup system. This is a set of foghorns that only go off when the lighthouse isn't on or can't be seen for whatever reason. This has a hole in the top, a pull-out drawer with a hole in it, and a hole inside of it that allows whatever is inside to drop down into the hole that is in the drawer. What is it for? That is a pretty sweet find. This is an old candy dispenser. Self-serve since there's no coin mechanism. Found these clear tube-like jelly things on the beach, near Ocean Shore, Washington. Is this some kind of a jellyfish? While you're likely to find some creatures along the beach, sometimes you also stumble upon those creatures' eggs. This is a bundle of squid eggs. Found washed up dead, on a beach in Crete, Greece. What is it? Another mystery beach finds, but this one looks a bit more unnerving. Or maybe that's just me, seeing as this is a fong tooth moray eel. And I hate eels. What is this mystery package I got in the post today? While everyone did think these were a package of mystery seeds that could be dangerous or invasive if not disposed of properly, they actually turned out to be plastic plants for an aquarium. Crisis averted. This is a scene from Top Gun. What is this guy holding? During military review board, and he never moves it. It's called a steno mask. That cup-looking object is actually a microphone. It's created to be soundproof, so those around it can't hear what's being said, 
and to eliminate background noise on the other end. What is this paved area with concentric rings and a bench in the middle? A feature not often seen, this appears to be a mediation labyrinth. They're meant to be walked through silently and alone so you can really think or meditate on a certain question or problem. This case just appeared in my neighborhood. Almost completely unmarked. What is it? Many people answered with some form of temporary traffic recorder, which was then narrowed down to a radar recorder specifically, which tracks all the speeds of the cars that pass by. Found in a nature preserve hiking trail area, former Rockefeller property. Roughly 15 to 20 feet high. Maybe an old chimney or watchtower. Does anybody know what is it? Chimney was sort of close, it is a vent. One for the old Croton aqueducts, which used to carry water to New York City. What are these yellow things on my light bulb? Just more of what it's made of. They're small class pieces made to reinforce the whole bulb structure. These small clear frames came with my sunglasses. What are they and how do I use them? It's called a myopia frame. They're for those who need prescription lenses. They can fit this frame to the inside of the sunglasses, pop their prescriptions in, then use the sunnies without the blurriness. I assume this is a keychain multi-tool, but I don't know what the tools are supposed to be. Any idea? This is a handy dandy no contact tool. From pushing buttons to opening doors, these little things can do various tasks so you can avoid germs. What are these clear blobs in my Nutella? Thankfully, it's likely just oil or fat that has separated and partially solidified. The best way to know is to warm up a dollop and see if they dissolve back into the mixture. Since this thing was found in an Italian volcanic cave, I'd question it too. It's actually an old CRT from a monitor or television, which means someone was doing some serious littering. If you come across something like this, it's better to get professionals to clear it away, as the tube can implode easily and there are toxic heavy metals inside. This glass-encased rooster could actually fetch a pretty penny. What is it? It's a sulfide marble, which are German collectibles produced from the mid-1800s until the 1930s. Depending on the quality and rareness of the figure inside, sulfides can be worth a few hundred dollars. Signs like this just raise more questions. I want to know what is it for and why we are not allowed to touch it. It's just a pneumatic control base for a thermostat or heater. The sign is so strange since you can't really do anything illegal with it. I wonder if the sign is just a way to stop people from sticking a fork in it or something. This is actually a super cool and nerdy find. When the center is turned, the four corner circles move too. It's a tiny model of a valve from a coreless steam engine. The rotating valves on the corners help to control the flow of steam. This find likely dates from around the year 1900. What is this weird blue tube circling a pasture? It's a water line of some sort. Either temporary to control water during a nearby construction project or excavation or it's possible that the pasture land was sold and this will become a permanent buried water line. What is this contraption on an apartment roof? 
What is it for? The building is an old warehouse turned brewery turned apartments, and this is an old sawdust collector. Besides being an airborne irritant, if enough sawdust builds up in an enclosed space, there could be an explosion. This foreign body pulled out of a dog's GIT, or Global Information Tracker, says the Redditor who posted this pic. What is it? The owners apparently have no idea of what they are, but since the objects are the cone portions of ice cream cone-shaped squeak toys from the dollar store. One could possibly have been picked up at the dog park or something, but two is fishy. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.